Hey everybody, Zanaris here with 7th Gamers, and today I am live streaming the Deadlinger Alpha Build 15 Unreal Engine 4 Opt In Update 1. I should probably find a shorter way to say that mouthful. But uh, this is the just released update, came out a couple hours ago for the Opt In build. It is, well, I'd love to say I actually played the unupdated version, but. Steam had issues yesterday and I never got around to playing it and stuff. So we're going to play the update 1 version, which I hear is much better and lots of fixes and stuff. Uh, the main thing is that they finally released the graphics menu. Or at least I'd say it's probably the main thing for anybody who played the previous one. Uh, I've already gone through here. I don't know what this thing thinks the resolution is. That's all sorts of weird. Change that. Sorry, just like streams like ah So you're actually seeing full resolution and my recording program isn't stretching it now. But I've already gone through, played a lot of these, I've turned up basically everything. Whoa, 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 what was that? None of that now. We'll have none of that weird finicky I want to be 1600 by 900 silliness and of course these other ones are blank because they're still working on this it is an opt-in it is we realize this is incredibly glitchy please don't break our game or actually I suppose they probably want us to break their game so um does this work now I don't think this actually works and sorry the audio cuts out when I go away from it uh, da -da -da -da. I'm trying to read through the uh, patch notes real quick. I don't think world seeding works yet. Yeah, there's only one spawn point in the opt-in area. Uh, multiplayer is black. Oh, wait. Eh, whatever. Well, let's go with this one. See if it's interesting. Uh, I've turned up... Whoa. What is this? I think one of my settings is off here. What did I turn up that I shouldn't have? Okay, let's disconnect. I've seen some... that was weird. I've seen some stuff and that was... Let's set this to high and try that again. Um, what the hell is going on here? Like you can see the text in the top right, like it's crystal clear text and the HUD is crystal clear, but the game world? This is weird. Like, I saw videos. I saw Sandswept's videos of what this is supposed to look like, and it looks a lot better than this. So I'm very confused right now. Play with some settings while I'm got in here. Let's turn that off, and that off, and that off. Apply changes. Nope. Did nothing. Uh, medium. Apply changes. Did nothing. Low. Apply changes. Did nothing. What is it about my computer that makes this look horrible? What do I do that? Nope. Oh! There we go. I found the thing. Resolution scaling. This is default to like this side. Just turn it all the way up. Set all these back to the way they were. Back to menu, resume game. All right, look at that. That is like crystal. Mm, let's see. I'll go in this warehouse. Check out these zombies, though. Kind of twitchy right now, but uh, you gotta remember this is an opt-in. It's like alpha of the alpha of the alpha. <laughs> I mean, this is an alpha game already, and they're like, "Hey, this is an opt-in build. If you want to like." Look at it. 
But uh, this is running in their new Unreal 4 engine build. It's not the Unity they had before, I believe. So there is a lot of different stuff going on here. It is... Like, look at that terrain. Like, that road? Look at that road. That road is smooth. I don't know if any of you recall what those roads used to look like, but they were chaos. I should probably stop running. I'm gonna, like, die of hunger or starvation or something, or... It's gonna be horrible. Yep, I'm feeling hungry. This building isn't quite fitting straight. There's a zombie inside. It's gonna look at me and go, rah. Ah! There's cars over here. And I think that's a power line in the distance. And a radio tower. And. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if I can get in one of these, too. Somehow, I don't think that's happening. Nope. Oh, it's flashlight button. Flashlight is fully charged. So, pretty standard controls here. I mean, it's still WASD. Uh, there's a crouch. It doesn't reflect it while you're like right now, but you do actually get smaller apparently. That is part of update one. And... For those of you who've played previous builds or watched the videos, uh, I'm just gonna point this out. Look how smoothly these roads join. I mean, look at that. Look at that. My guy is shirtless. All right, I need to find a shirt. If there's one to be found, I don't know. I don't know, the world's still kind of eclectic as all get out, you know, random. It's just like, I want there to be a thing here. Should probably stop running. Um, okay. Not sure what that building thinks is going on. <laughs> One glitchy building. Eh, I'm probably gonna die of starvation. And zombies were, of course, glitching out. But we've already gotten over that. Ooh, what's in here? Ah, flashlight. It's all, like, gotta, like, that drag on it, like. Wash basin, restroom. Disgusting toilets. More disgusting toilets. There's holes in that wall. Hmm. Sure, I need to find some food. I have no idea what that beep 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 was. Hmm. Oh, flashlight. That makes sense. Oh, free looks back in. Woo! Wonder if I can actually get up there. Hmm. Should find out. Oh. There's our food store and our goodie store and Oh crap zombies. Uh problems.
That is a flower. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm hungry. I found a rotten apple. Hmm. What's upstairs? Hmm. Man, how big is this place? Dang. Rotten orange. Alright, so they put stuff in here. But nothing I can use. Hmm. Ooh. Play with a gun. Did I pick up two of those? No, it's just a... Uh... Do I have to reload it still? Hmm. I mean, I have a backpack. Uh, there's stuff in the backpack. Not sure what that's supposed to be. I have a gun now. And once I finish looking through this building, I'm going to use it on something. Because that is what guns are for. Using on things. As always with these tiny little closets. Are these supposed to be like shirts or something? Oh. Leather jacket. That doesn't have a mesh yet. Oh, I have another leather, leather jacket. Okay. Alrighty, top floor, maybe. Yes, yes, game. That is a shotgun, and those are shells. Bird shot. Oh, that's like not the pellets. Okay. Hmm. Ah, yes, the meat cleaver. I'll add some meat. Something like you'd be able to get on the roof of this building. That'd be cool. Alright. Let's go attract some zombies and die. Ah, well, let me jump out the window. Alright. That's how good hit detection is. Huh? Did I not hit him? Maybe I didn't hit him. I'm confused. Does this gun work? It might not work. Hmm. Known issue hitting zombies at long range with guns. Guns are finicky. Alright. So, up close and personal it is. I should probably use the shotgun for this. I think it just like overlaid them. Yeah, alrighty. Weird, but whatever. Is what it said. Guns are finicky. Item food cabbage. Hello. Cargo pants. I'm wearing cargo pants. Should I think I'm wearing even fewer clothes now? Well, I'm going to run out of ammo here in a moment. Can I shoot your brains out through the door? Nope. Oh. 
gunshots still draw attention of a few of them. Okay. Rotten banana. Rotten all sorts of other stuff. Candy bar. Oh, huh. soup. Go down. Nobody wants you here. What's in this room? Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, my inventory is probably full. Alright. Alright, right click to eat stuff. And. Not sure that actually did anything. Okay. Weird. Zombies be glitching. Hey, who said you were allowed to do that? Die. Stay down this time, too. Uh huh. Whoa. Uh, what the hell is going on here? That was weird. Or I'll do that. I'm survivor, no title yet. Alright, whatever. Hmm, what else we got in here? Go upstairs. Oh shit. Missed. Kinda wait to run out of ammo. Fresh banana? Picked up item food banana. I keep trying to like eat food, the game's just like no. How am I starving? I don't think the food mechanic works yet. It's okay. Anything else? This video will be good for the developers. Wow, those windows have drapes in them. That's kind of neat. Oh no, I'm up. Oh, I found the meshless room and the broken zombie and the fire axe. Well, I know what I'm equipping now. And these weapons are all sorts of effed up. <laughs> all right, nobody cares. Where's the way down, game? It's like navigating based on empty spaces. <laughs> yeah, this mesh is all sorts of screwed up. Oh well.
Or they uh, added the death mechanic in. <laughs> I'll go down fighting with my guns, fire axe, sledge thing. <laughs> Yep, you can die. You are oh. dead. Oh well. Do you really need a respawn mechanic for single player? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Let's go climb this hill. And then discover this hill is a lot farther than I thought it was. So, uh, this game appears to be running pretty smoothly. Not that I can see my frame rate. But, um. I mean, this is, like, crystal clear. Of course, I've also got a, like, ridiculous computer right now, but. Still, it's pretty smooth for an engine that they honestly haven't released to the public. Well, for an engine, for a game built on an engine, the current build is not even like the public version, it's like the you can try it if you want version. I uh, don't have the walk this direction forever key added yet. Darn it. I wonder if I do. There we go. Hold down W, Alt Tab, so I can read the patch notes while we walk to that hill. Not that the hill is all that interesting, but uh, let's see. Build number has been iterated by one. Indeed it has. That is... Uh, you can't see when I had the mouse in there, okay. And it's in the top left corner. Uh, if you can view this at 1080p like I'm streaming it at, you could probably read it. What else? I already talked about that. Graphics menu. Uh, missing or unknown meshes will now appear as a box with a question mark on it. Uh, if you see one, let us know what it is when you pick it up. If you can't, pick it up. Just let us know where you found it. Uh, great news. I'm recording this in the video. Uh, there's me telling Samsung Studios I found a thing. It'll be on YouTube in its original quality once this finishes. Or once this stream finishes. Let's see. Oh, they have burst based weapons? Oh. Hmm. Collision on one of the beds fixed. Fixed collision on a bunch of the cars. Body bags no longer collide with survivors or impede survivor movement. Should still block objects in line of sight. Okay. Uh, a bunch of temporary meshes stuff. Added some meshes. Doors are quite a bit lighter. <laughs> Users with high DPI settings on their mouse. Why am I still carrying a thing? Yeah, like, the character mesh is all sorts of, like, effed up right now. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure food is supposed to work. I'm reading through the menu, like their release notes for the up for like the first update, and well, they don't say anything about food. Not that I'm can tell. <laughs> Servers are a black hole, apparently. In other words, try at your own risk. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep. 
And I'm not even sure I'll get up this hill before I starve to death. I'm not even sure I'll get past this barrier before I starve to death. What even is this? It is a floating road. Okay. What? Or I'll just glitch through the mesh. That works too. Maybe I should have gone for that tower. I wonder if you could climb it. My guy's getting a workout now. So, alright, on the right, you have the heart, the stomach, the bladder, the lungs. And I have no idea what the bottom one is. Uh, if anybody's got any idea, by all means, let me know. I will admit, I am very curious. And then, let's get up this hill. <laughs> draw right far. Yeah, let's draw the trees on that hill way over there. I mean, that works for me. I'm not complaining. So for the opt-in, they've done, what is that, like, a small little area? I remember, like, reading one of their updates about how, like, the map of the area they're working with. But if I got up here, I could figure out where on that map this is. Uh-oh. Running out of climbable terrain. No! Let me go up the mountain. Why not? <laughs> yep, I fell. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to get up this one. Okay. So this mountain doesn't like me. I should have gone up that one. So it looks nice and smooth. This one's a cliff face. But uh, let's see, you've got one, two radio towers. Two radio towers, one over here, one over there. I bet at lower qualities you can't even see what I'm pointing at. Uh, three water towers. And a bunch of random stuff. and a road to oblivion you may also encounter visual oddities and bugs ah. yep I love the fact that my guy's wearing one of these bo white boxer briefs I don't know Yeah. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Dead. <laughs> and hey, it spawned me right where I died, actually. Interesting. Maybe I can get down this without dying. Ah. Yep, did it. I just like the train. You gotta, like, I think a lot of this is actually, like, uh, handcrafted. Like, they literally sat down and, like, shaped the train to be this. Which is really cool when you think about it. I mean, I'm sure they had a tool that, like, they just, like, used grayscale or something. It's like, oh, yeah, bam. Here's kind of how we want it to look. And have a tool that just, like, flattens it and smooths it and is like, boom. But, um. 
Mm. Yep, back in my uh, whitey tidies. So these would be just boxer briefs, I think. Get up the top of this hill, I'm going to play with the graphic settings and we can see what they actually do, if we can even tell. I know anti-aliasing is pretty straightforward in this. I like how they've got roads laid out around this, like we're going to have like expansion, it's just like, oh yeah, we'll just let you play in this little area here because we've added some buildings. Oh yeah, there's, you're not going to find much out here, but uh, there's some nice trees. Are there even trees down there? Yeah, there's trees down there, but these are different trees, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Still kind of neat, though. It's bad I can't turn off that little bug, that little, not bug, uh, message up there. That'd be nice. Man, look at them rays of light. Flickering in as the trees blow. Or as the trees are blown around. I mean, to be honest, this is a really pretty game. And there's me with my glitched out gun hand. Something about this gun just doesn't like to be things. That and there's whatever I picked up earlier. I don't know what this was. But it was definitely a thing. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> Shadow glitch. I'm guessing shadows don't work very well on edges where like the sun is basically like lined up with them. I wonder if they have a day night cycle added yet. I will get to the top of you hill and then I will take a picture. How dare you attempt to defy me. Oh, there's snow up here. Check that out. Snow. Let me summarize the stream for you. Oh, this is a nice little, like, three square blocks. Uh, let's go climb that mountain. Alright, so some of these trees are pretty clearly the stand-ins, or they're the distance renders. Might be the distance renders. Nope, some of these... Oh, let's get closer to that tree. Oh, yeah, but it's just how it draws them from a distance. I wish you could change that setting. I want to see all of the trees rendered limb by limb all of the time. Yay, snow! Alright. It's not even rendering the town anymore. It's like, yeah, those buildings down there, we don't care about them. Those buildings are worthless. Meaningless! See where that water tower is? There's supposed to be a town around it. All you can see are, like, trees and bushes and water towers. Oh, there's another antenna tower way over there in the distance. So there's three. Interesting. Ah, oh, whatever, this is good enough. Let's play with some settings. How okay. Down to low. Whoa, those trees are blobs. So, if you're playing this on a computer from 2000, 
four. But it still renders all the grass. You'd think if you turned everything to low, that would be like the first thing you cut is the grass. It's like turn down ground scatter. I mean, the grass definitely looks nicer even on medium. The trees actually have branches that sway. Uh, I guess they sway on low too. They just look like ass. And then high. Epic. And let's turn on all these things. I don't even know what most of these do. <laughs> I mean, I know what some of them do, but I don't know what all of them do. So, Alright, so I just want to point out. What is right here? More grass. View distance controls the grass, but not only the grass, it also the trees in the distance. If you watch right up here, bam, trees begun. But I was like, yeah, there's even taller mountains. I'm like, no, I'm not going to go climb the taller mountains. This is already running on for quite a while. Not that I know exactly how long I've been recording, but hey, why not? I still think it should render trees, like, a little further out. So I've got this thing set to, like, ridiculous. Oh, anti-aliasing is off. I'm not sure that really changed much. how this is the only setting menu that matters it's like we we don't we know you don't care about the other settings you only care about graphics the tree render distance is definitely way too short when set too far for view I'm pretty sure that's the thing they put in the engine just to like cut down the amount of like power your computer has to have to do stuff, but... Hmm. Kinda want to encounter one of these visual oddities. I mean, I suppose the road that I walked through was a visual oddity, but... Is that a river? Holy shit, that might be a river. That might be... Bridge over a river. Hmm. I mean, part of me wants to think that they implemented, like, all the survival stuff, but, uh, food and water clearly don't work. Well, water need goes up as you eat stuff, but where's the water at? I wonder if you can just drink from the river. We'll find out when we get there. Someone we don't die first. It's also interesting to note that the zombies, there's no zombies out here. Which I suppose makes sense, because they haven't, like, really done much to this area. But, I don't know. Man, look at my shadow. What is going on with my shadow? There's like a, a blur on my shadow for everything below my waist. I almost died on the first slip. Definitely died on the second one. Awesome. That's that, I suppose. Uh, 
but it got me to the bottom of the mountain and that's all I care about. Let's go jump in a river and see if we can drown. Also, I just want to point out, look at that river. That is damn pretty. That is an accurate reflection of the mountain. I'm just going to put that out there. Like, this little spot where it reflects this hill, like, it looks kind of bland. Kind of like the hill does. That mountain looks amazing. Okay, so this isn't a bridge. That is a highway. An elevated highway because it is floating above the ground. Which means I'll probably not be able to get on it. Unfortunately. Damn. The flashlight thing is like, ah, oh, red eye, ah! I wish there was like a console command to just like make it night. Turn off the star! That's right, I called it a star. Uh oh. Nope, didn't hurt myself. Oh, visual oddity detected. Roadway. Distant from town over there. This is gonna hurt. Ah! How do you know, like, your status? Food for six hydration. Heart is overall health. Okay, got it. No heart, you dead. Oh, wait, man, let's tell me the other things, too. Ah, sanity. That's what it is. Lymph nodes are your infection risk. Okay. That all makes sense now. Wait, that insanity? Am I playing like one of those, like, Elder Gods games like Cthulhu? And there's a mod for you. Let's add Cthulhu into the mix. But seriously, check out that reflection, I'm just saying. Also, I know why the road doesn't reflect. Notice how there's no road to see? It's just the two little lines. There's not a mesh to the bottom of it yet, so there's nothing for it to reflect. It looks pretty. Let's go jump in the water. Maybe you can drink it. If you can drink it, that'd be cool. And then your infection risk goes up, because you're drinking river water in a zombie apocalypse game. Actually, is this a river or is this a lake? Hmm. Doesn't matter the mountains, I'm not sure which it would be. See, that road is reflecting. That road is slightly reflecting. See, road, 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 road. Maybe that one's not. Okay. Uh, water looks pretty from the top, but does not exist. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this. The water, it's missing. The water is missing. We'll see how far I get in about another 15 minutes, and then I will probably end the stream, because, well, given that this is an opt-in build and is basically, like, pre-alpha status right now, I mean, I'm not expecting a lot in the way of the content. I just kind of want to show it off. I mean, the graphics are definitely a lot nicer. You can tell they're using a new engine and one. The Unreal Engine has ridiculous graphics, from what I've seen of it, anyways. Some of those games where if you really want to, like you could throw like amazing stuff at it. Yep, stomach is growling. They really put like seaweed at the bottom of this? That's just grass. There's random grass in the middle of the river. I suppose underwater grass is just like plant life, but I mean, come on, we all know what grass looks like. Hmm, 
stop, stretch my hand a little bit. All right, let's go again. The kind of side water is not implemented. You can't like float and swim and use it as a zombie escape method until they start walking into the water because zombies don't need to breathe because they're undead. Or is that just skeletons? I don't know. I know skeletons don't need to breathe. Sanity, though. Sanity gives me ideas for mods. So many ideas. I wonder how you lower sanity. Is it, like, part of being infected? Like, what happens if your sanity is, like, marginal? That would be really cool, is if, like, when your sanity gets too low, like, you start seeing the zombies as people. And, like, the world starts, like, reflecting your sanity. Oh. Even you reflect on the water. The muddy water, but you do reflect. There's our highway. Which I might be able to jump onto from this little hill. If I could glitch out the collision detection at least. It has a shadow. So one bit of it has a shadow at least. Not really sure what's going on with the rest of the shadow. Do we? Do we? Uh-oh. Died. Um. Cause of death. Attempted to pass through Schrodinger's Highway. Great news, I am now on the highway. And there is my corpse. Ah, I got rid of the gun of glitchiness. So... Back to town, or this way? Eh, I'll go this way. You're going away from the content, Zanaris! What are you doing? Um... Would I say this content is playable right now? Probably not. I'm just kind of like, oh, hey, that looks pretty. I mean, yeah, you could play it. I don't know how long you're going to enjoy it for, though. And a lot of the meshes are missing. Um, a lot of the terrain meshes look kind of like ass, like that. I think the trees need reworked a touch. I kind of want to go until I find the end of this highway. I'm actually really tempted once I stop streaming to uh, record this at the full resolution of my monitor to see what this living looks like at 4K. Because uh, I'm pretty sure my computer can handle it. Probably wouldn't like it very much, but I'm pretty sure it could handle it. Yeah. Probably gonna do that. And then just upload it whenever I finish recording. The Lonesome Highway. Imagine if I had a bike right now. Man, that'd be so much faster. Part of me wanted to kind of wants to try and get up to one of those radio those antennas and be like, "What's up?" But that mountain doesn't look fun to climb. Or anything, I find it more interesting that, like, they went through and they added roads 
it's like all of the terrain you can see from the starting area and those roads go on for a while just think about that for a moment that means that some guy sitting at a desk decided you know what let's just add roads to the map today I mean they haven't gone through and like meshed them to the map and like made everything all succinct and not Schrodinger's Highway yet, but um, yeah, I mean that's weird to think about. I'm gonna stop thinking about that now. And there's that one random tree, like three random trees. It's just, that one in particular looks different, but I think it's a sun. So yeah, welcome to Build 15 Unreal Engine 4 Opt-in Update 1. Uh, it is... We've got guns that sort of work, meshes that forget they're not holding, being held anymore, and other meshes, you're just kind of like, what's going on here guys? Uh, food that I apparently can't consume, but I can, but I don't get anything from it. Not sure where to get water. Maybe I just didn't find the right thing. It's probably like the random number generator not liking me. And... See, that road looks like it's meshed. Like, the train, like, makes sense. Probably because it's just like a byway. Not this four-lane nonsense I'm on. I'm also kind of surprised by how relatively slow my food and water, or hunger and thirst indicators are going up. By going up I mean going down because down is worse. I don't know. Hmm. I wonder how far this highway goes. The only downside is when I switch to the 4K I'm like I'd want to show off like the town. Not that the mountains and stuff aren't pretty but So yeah, update one was released a couple hours ago as of the streaming recording. Um, it fixed a few things. Well, actually, it fixed a bunch of things. Change logs got like 20 or 30 items on it. The, the opt-in Unreal Engine 4 builds only been available for two or three days, I think. Two, probably two or three. I'm leaning towards two, but I don't have an exact date in the like in memory, so. Speaking of highways and stuff that someone sat down and just started adding, trees. There are trees on that hill. I, I can look at that hill and see trees. A lot of them. At a distance, they look alright, but like... They haven't found that sweet spot yet where the trees are far enough away where a blob doesn't matter. They're still blobby too close in my opinion. Is that the end of the road? Ah, oh, I found the end of the road. I found that spot where this guy who was making roads is like, I'm gonna stop here for the day. That or he started here. Hmm. Eh, it's not that far off. We'll go to the end of the road. That will be the end of this stream. And it's gigabyte and a half of data. Actually, it probably won't, because I... Uh, I don't know. We might make it there in the next five minutes. So this is actually... I really wanted to stream this a couple nights ago. And it came out three days ago, because I remember I was seeing the update on it on Sunday. So it means it might have come out Saturday in some part of the world. I live in the future. Um... So, 
Yeah, I really wanted to stream the not update one build because the Dead Linger has been that one game that I stream or I make a video of almost every release of it, and I don't know. I really wanted to like keep it up, and now I've kind of missed one, even if it's an opt-in release. Yeah. I'm actually really looking forward to the finished game. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. And I really hope it's everything people have hoped for. It could be. I mean, the Switch was good. Uh, this map looks a lot better. The train, while not randomly generated anymore, does look good. And I think their design logic was to have enough of like all the different terrain types to basically put you in a situation, like any situation you can think of. So that may be Arctic, but I'm sure like someone's going to like mod in an Arctic map. Welcome to the frozen tundra. It's like, welcome to Antarctica with zombies. You are the sole survivor of a international research station in the Antarctic Circle. Or the Arctic... I don't know what they call it down there. And the frozen wasteland known as Antarctica. Your job is to survive. Also, beware of penguins. They're infected by the, by the virus. And you're like, what? What do I eat then? And you survive by going like from research base to research base on like snowmobiles. <laughs> But that'd be interesting, though, because research bases would be the only place where the zombies could survive. Except for the penguins. The penguins, something you just run them over a snowmobile. Except the big ones. I mean, there's some really big penguins out there. But, uh, that's a really interesting idea. I hope someone, re like, listens to this and is like, I'm stealing his idea. And then they don't tell me about it, and I'm like, yeah. Well, like, just have, like, the zombies inside the, like, the research bases. I don't know, I'm getting really kind of off-topic. I mean... I've gone worse on recordings before. This is pretty on topic compared to what I normally do. Covered a lot more of this road than I thought I would. I wish there was like um like an observer view of the map. You like go into the console and like give yourself like fly and speed and just zip around look for things. That's an idea. Whichever poor Sandswept developer is still watching this at this point, implement that. Let me see your world from the view of that star. Actually, maybe a little closer than that. You know, if this is the edge of the map over here, should do is just have like this road go into a tunnel and just have it be like blocked by cars and chaos and destruction. Hmm. I don't know, this road's still going though. I think it cuts off here pretty quickly though. Yeah, I'm too far away for jumping to work. To be able to like view the cutoff, I think. I think it's literally like right there. And when I get to it, I will turn around, and I will look behind me, and I'll say, Oh, the miles we have traveled. And you're like, Zeres, you shouldn't have said that. You're going to make it boring. And I'm like, I probably already made it boring. Who knows? Who knows? For those of you who have stuck with me for the hour I have been recording this, you rock. Just say it. Yep, that's where the road ends, because you can see the shadows of the trees on the road.
trying to like do the math in my head. I'm like, yeah, how far have we traveled? I wonder. It's like, I walk 0.4 miles in about eight minutes. Like natural walking pace, kind of like rushing myself. I don't know. I don't feel like mathing right now. I'd probably die falling off that. Hmm. Whoa, you can barely see the other side of this lake. Pretty sure it's a lake now. Check that out. You can barely make out an antenna tower over there. Like, if I look at the right point, there, gone. There's no tower there. If you're not watching this 1080p, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. It's a little sliver of a black line right above where I'm looking. But, oh, the miles we have traveled and the roads we have walked. On that note, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. I'm probably going to do a 4K video after this so you can see what this game looks like at 4K. Um probably not 60 frames a second because that's an insane amount of bits to record but uh as always thank you for watching and i hope you're looking forward to the next build as much as i am where they flesh out even more things and it gets oh so more playable until then enjoy the game this is anaris some gamers signing off